Yo, what's up? I'm in LeBron James's <laughs> his locker room. <laughs> oh no, man. Um, we over here in my bar in the house. Let's talk about it, man. Um, people want to know what I thought about. What happened with Styles P and her son Campbell and kept going off about it. Going on and on, telling them about, man, you got to tell me what's this, what's up with that. Listen, I'm going to say this and say it once. Styles P should have never even mentioned this guy's name. And I'm still scratching my head as to wondering why people are giving this guy attention. I mean, really, it's baffling. How many of y'all know Styles P has an album out? It just came out maybe about a week ago. I've been playing it in the car. It's called Ghosted. Go listen to that. That's better than watching Styles P... Go back and forth or even address <clears throat> Hassan Campbell. I just don't know why people give these people like this power. Because obviously they're aligning themselves to a certain type of direction that they want to go in. They align themselves to everything that they wanted to participate in, be like, move like. The whole nine. Well, you have a lot of people making moves, a lot of people making decisions, a lot of people making uh, things up. I just don't see it. Um, Styles P just basically told him. You know, as a man, he spoke just as, as, as a man would do. You know, he don't care about other people's, what they doing and who they dating. And that's not Styles P. You know, he cares about him. You want to talk about Jada and all that? Go talk about Jada, you know, and just don't disrespect him. This man lost his daughter, him and his wife, man. That's, that's a painful thing to do. Leave people alone, man. You know, life is precious. And when it's taken in that manner, you'll understand it better. Like you appreciate life a lot more when it's just suddenly gone like that. That's a painful loss. What he went through was that's probably the most heartening, disheartening thing in the world to, to happen to somebody to, to go out in that fashion, you know, as a father, you know, and trying to heal for that to be strong for your other children. So I commend him, him and his wife, you know, for having to fight through this and go through that and still push forward. You know, that's that's something powerful. And to have a clown like this just throw your name around for attention and likes and views because he needs some some controversy in order to be popping. You know, it's, it's foolish. It's real foolish. Like me, yeah, we'll talk about current events, but uh, I also talk about business. I also update people on the Patreon, let them know things that are going on in the world. That they're masking with all this nonsense. You know, the whole world is crazy right now. 
So they're masking a lot of this stuff with BS 24-7. Yeah, it's a lot of nonsense going on in the world that's transpiring. So if people figure out what it is that they want to do in life and want to move in that way, um, God bless them, you know, because it's hard. It's a hard struggle. But you talking about Hassan Campbell, a guy who's famous for what? What is he famous for? Mm. For something bad that happened to him that probably happened to Raz B, that happened to Orlando Brown, that happened to a lot of other people, and they're not as famous as this guy. Why? Then he worked. I mean, my thing is he said he was attacked. Then he dated or was in a relationship with somebody over there. I don't even know if it's the guy he says it is. I can't even trust what this guy is saying, but I know something has happened to him because he seems mentally disturbed. Now, because of this, this Hassan guy continues to lash out at everybody else for monetary gain just to keep the drama going. If anybody believes that I'm attacking LeBron James for money, because it's going to get me a lot of views and a lot of hits. You obviously don't know me very well. If I said it about LeBron James, I mean it. <laughs> I'm quite sure he knows it. He knows I don't like him. And I don't like anything that he does. Period. Nothing. And I'll tell you why. All the time. If he does something, and it's funny that every time he does something, something weird always happens. If he goes somewhere, he ruins it. Whatever he's going for, it seems to go down in flames. If he's attached to it. You know, if you, you get what I'm saying? Like when he went to the Lakers, there's drama. Like Kevin Durant said, the guy's toxic. Everything around this guy is just toxic. Toxic behavior. Of course, KD tried to clean it up and say, oh, no, it's no fault of his. It's just that everywhere he goes, it's like, you know, and it's because of this media. They jock LeBron so much, you know, but he put those guys there. So that's how all this stuff end up coming back. And then you create guys like Hassan Campbell. Who don't stand on morals and principles. He stand on nonsense and talk about street code. And, and it's like, dude, you're, you're not really street, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, when did it become, I, I just don't understand it, man. It's like, one minute you're getting busted in the butt. And I ain't talking about when you was a kid. I'm talking about when you were a grown man. And then I don't I just I'm confused. I'm really confused because trying to make logic out of what you say is really baffling to me. You said some very disturbing things about children and the youth that I will never get over. And that was part of your probably your mental psychosis that you're dealing with. That you're going to have to go through with therapists and everything else. But I don't know who would even trust his own children. Like the way he talking, DCFS should be coming to get him. To remove his children from him. Just making comments like that is dangerous. For you to even have children around. You. You. You said some very disrespectful things about your own disabled child. Disrespectful. Now, I'm not going to blame your child being disabled on you. You know, I don't 
wish that on any parent, but I'm just saying you got to be careful with the things that you're saying and how you're saying them. You know what I'm saying? So Style P is like, look, I'm taking up for the youth. I'm speaking for the youth. I'm protecting them from people like you. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a real street dude. You just a guy that want to be a street guy. There's a major difference. Those guys don't usually make it. Because anybody who knows anything who grew up in the streets know that it was no place to grow up in. And it damn sure wasn't anything to glorify. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, I know. Y'all expect me to go on a rant talking about this dude. I could do that, but for what? I don't want to involve myself in it. My man Spake G hit me up. My little, he was like my little brother. And he was like, you don't need this, bro. Like, like, don't. Why are you even mentioning that guy? You know, I don't, I don't want nothing going down with you. And I'm like, that mental patient even think about her harming me. <laughs> Hassan Campbell, mm -mm. not worried about him at all. And make sure he stays where he is <laughs> at all times. Guys like that are limited to about a two block radius. Believe me, they're not going nowhere really far from their hood at all. They don't want to. They don't like to feel, they feel uncomfortable because now they feel unsafe. Because people recognize them before they recognize anybody else. And they may not even recognize them at all. So you don't recognize the energy. You don't know if it's positive or negative, but here it comes. It's at your front door. Now what you going to do? Hmm? See what I'm saying? And that's when you know being goofy don't work for you no more. It's not cool to be a goofy now, is it? Hmm? No points for that. So let's keep that in perspective. Okay? Let's keep that in perspective when we're talking about the future. Let's talk about the positive things, you know? I got a couple of boxes, uh, shoes that's going to Kwame Brown. And don't forget to follow at Kwame Brown Bus Life, uh, Self Talk, my page here. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, welcome to HDTV, 78 Fight News, or 78 Sports TV now. Uh, D Style Boxing. Um, who am I forgetting? BoxingSocialist.com. A lot of other people out there. I just can't think of them right now. Forgive me. I had a business call that I forgot about today that could have screwed me up out of a couple grand. So I'm, I'm really hurt by that. I didn't make a lot of money today as I thought I would, but that's basically my fault. See, I spent a lot of money this weekend. And some of you saw me and witnessed me spend a lot of money this weekend. <laughs> so, and uh, oh yeah, we get paid. You two going to send us our money today. Yay. No, it actually come on uh, Wednesday. So, Wednesday it'll be here. Today is Tuesday. It'll be here Wednesday. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks and Suns. Oh, yeah, that's going down uh, tomorrow. Uh, my prediction for the game. I think they'll find a way to try to give it to the Suns. You know, they really want Chris Paul to win. But if Giannis, I don't know if Giannis going to let that happen, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think Giannis is going to let that. If this game close, he going to go try to snatch that damn game. That boy is a workaholic. <laughs> he ain't from this country. He's from Greece. 
you know, so he want to go get it. That boy wants to go get it. So tomorrow is going to be pumping. It's going to be pumping hard. Um, I'll screw the sign Campbell, man. I don't even think about what he, what he had to say about any damn thing. Who cares about him? He just, he's absorbing all this drama, right? That's what somebody was saying. I saw Star said something uh, that was crazy. It wasn't crazy. It's just that I don't think it was true or could have been true. I'm going to have to see it. It just popped up just out of nowhere about... Um, uh, it was about Alpo and Jim Jones. I'm like, Alpo and Jimmy, they would never be together. <laughs> I'm like, he said they were together at a party. I'm like, man. <laughs> I I can't say never, but I just don't see that happening. That would not have that would not help Jimmy at all. Never. Um, if he was there, he was there. But if he was, I'm quite sure it was a that don't seem like a smart thing Alpo would be doing at this time because he's in New York and you know, six nine was able to floss and do all that stuff, but man. I would be very leery about anybody who had any contact or anything to do with with that guy. I'm looking at them. I'm not looking at Poe. I didn't I didn't know all I need to know about Poe. Anybody who's associated, it'd be just like the Godfather. Yep. Yeah. I set up the meet. You talk to Barzini? Yeah. <laughs> it'd be mm, okay. Yeah, we're going to set it up somewhere around my territory. Yeah, you'll be safe. Okay. <laughs> you set it up? Yeah. So... That's that's how I feel about anybody attached to Poe. If you're around Poe, that's how I feel. There's no reason. <laughs> if you if you okay with every, that's on you. I'm not cool with it. <laughs> I wouldn't be talking to Poe at all. He'd be like, yo, I want to sit down and tell you my side. I'd be, click. Tell someone else. <laughs> don't tell it to me. I don't need to know it. I don't need you in my area or my life. <laughs> Sorry. I'm good. Yeah. Hassan Campbell, that was the shit, bro. Brother Haas, love is love to you, man. I hope you stay blessed. Um, I'm, I'm gonna walk you down the line of where you misguided, it. And this is why I don't know if you seen my live the other day, but I was telling y'all a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all from the sets, just send me the youth cause y'all don't know what the fuck is going on. So if you in a blood set, you in a crip set, and you ain't really got all your shit together and you're mixing business and streets, just send the fucking youth over here. You questioned my integrity, I guess. Um... As a businessman or a street person, and but with my business. See, the business world is not the street world, Hassan. It's a totally different world, babe, bro. And besides that, I am a 46-year-old New Yorker. I don't know about blood terms or crip terms. I'm just a regular G. No not no knock to the bloods of crips. You know I got blood of crip brothers, people I love. But you on your shit talk about set shit, this and that behind the wall. 
that ain't my time, beloved. I'm out here fixing the youth so they don't, they don't got to talk about being behind the wall and niggas who ratted and this and that. That's, that's the time I'm on. I'm five juice bars up. One pharmacy store coming. And my shit is all in the hood. I'm dolo talking to youth every day because niggas like you is blurring the lines. You don't know. You don't. You ain't even wise enough to be on here. You telling the youth, nigga, get a real job. Go to your job and tell them you ain't working with a snitch. Fuck is wrong with you, bro? Wake the fuck up. You think dudes on parole that got to go to work in Con Ed and all that place, they telling them you ain't working with no snitches or none of that? Like, wake the fuck up, bro. Stop getting on here and looking for clout, man. Stop talking about people. And if you was really about that life, you wouldn't be blogging about it. Like you would have been outside handling it. And when I did have problems with people, you didn't hear me say about nobody snitching. You didn't hear me talk about bad about them. You don't even hear me say that nowadays because I'm out here trying to help these fucking youth. You got a job, nigga. You blogging every day, nigga. Stop fucking worried about what's going on outside. Get another little nigga from outside and get him blogging too. That's what the fuck you do because you confused, nigga. You confused, brother. And I love you and I understand some of the shit you're saying makes sense, but some of it don't. Some of it don't. And don't nope. come pushing your fucking projecting your energy on other shit. I can't be questioned on the streets. You know why I can't be questioned? Because I've never ratted. I never told this, never even been questionable. I've been facing 10 and 11, could have told on my best friends. They know I didn't. You understand what I'm saying? I could have told on somebody who told on me. They know I didn't. So I can't be questioned when it comes to that. So when you ask him about what's happening with your fucking bloods and grips, and all of that other shit, I don't fucking know, bro, and I don't care. I'm out here every day trying to get the youth out of that direction. You know what it's like to be behind the wall? Why the fuck you ain't telling the kids? Get a job. Nerd up, nigga. That's what I do. That's what I'm out here doing. That's me. That's me, brother. Like, you gotta, you gotta relax yourself and stop projecting. You get on here with your big arms, you're blogging, talking too much about behind the wall. Nigga, you a blogger. Keep blogging. It ain't nothing wrong with that's a good fucking thing. You got yourself a job, you're doing good, you got fans, you got people, now you all this confused quick like yo. I'ma tell them Madison Square Garden the diverse people of this, yo, this is questionable. I don't know if like what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Grow up and you never heard me say anything bad about bully. I love them. If the public know about him, it's cause it ain't cause I said something about it. So you know what I'm saying? Grow the fuck up. The big problem with y'all niggas in that set. And a lot of y'all, no disrespect, I'm an old school New Yorker, so I don't know shit about, I'm like old, old school New Yorker. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know what the fuck, I don't know nothing about y'all shit. And all my homies are telling me, I'm around, I ask questions all day. So don't come here telling me about this shit. Nigga, I'm at Juice Bars, nigga, giving the youth a better way. I'm trying to fix our community's diet every day. That's my fight, dog. Every day, that's what I'm out here doing. On the streets. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what's real? This is what's a crazier conversation, brother. You know what? I, I, I deal with real, real dudes who've been through a lot of shit that I have this conversation on the side with them. Because when somebody come up to the juice bar telling me who ratted, guess what? When I'm at the juice bar, I'm a fucking businessman. Don't tell me shit about nobody who ratted and none of that because I ain't asking. First of all, I don't like people to fucking chat about people. If I'm calling somebody a rat, I'm going to call them in their fucking face within arm's distance in case they want to swing. You know what I'm saying? Not over on computer. I'm going to make sure I'm right up close, personal, and call you a rat where you know I called you a rat. That's my MO. Not over a fucking computer. Not none of that. Like, so, but the biggest thing about this, this whole point is, is y'all motherfuckers keep misleading the youth. The streets is the streets. The outside of the streets is outside of the streets. A lot of y'all niggas is not even built for this shit. When I'm trying to get y'all a fucking fruit and veggie up in the first place, then you come with your slow ass thought process trying to push that shit on everybody else. Nigga, I build with real killers every day and tell them don't tell me that shit. Fuck is you talking about, man? Outside every day, ghosts, every borough, any borough. You know you see me alone. You know I tell the OGs to tell a youth? Get the fuck your gang, nigga. Fuck your game. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm a black man. So maybe that makes a little bit more sense to you. The man puts community first. He's trying to fix people who's out here messed up. It's a lot of people out here messed up. They're going off drugs. 
They eaten. We have, and we as African American people, we have a very bad diabetes problem. We're diabetics, lupus, high blood pressure. These are the three killers in our community. That's the reason why we don't live that long. It's the way, it's the conditions that you treat yourself. Like me, I have to make changes in my lifestyle in order to, if I want to continue to keep moving and going forward, I have to make changes. That's why I eat a lot of more fruit now and more vegetables. I don't drink as much soda as I used to. If I do, I, I try to make sure it's something like 7-Up or, or ginger ale. Dark sodas is not good for African Americans. It hurts our kidneys. It's not good for us. So if you have one, and I mean those cheap sodas, those cheap sodas are put there for you, and they're tainting you. I told you the one, the one that I had, it was making me impotent. <laughs> I was like, that had to go. That was the first time I ever bought a 12-pack. I'm like, I can get 12 sodas for like a dollar? Some cheap fango soda. It was like fango root beer. Man, I tasted it. It didn't even taste like soda. It tastes like medicine. And I think I had like maybe a can of it. And for the first time in my life, I was like, I couldn't do anything. I stopped that immediately throughout the entire rest of the sodas. Like nobody drinking this. Threw that stuff out. And of course, I came back strong like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> But he was like, couldn't activate at one point. I was, what the hell is going on with me? <laughs> I get hard when the wind blow. <laughs> and the wind blow on him. He go, hey, what's that? What's that? Hey, 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 it's time to go. Where's she at? <laughs> like, calm down. <laughs> so, definitely, you want to take care of yourself. Keep your body in shape. Stay fit. Stay ready. Always prepared to go, and by all means, God bless. Subscribe to the page. Share this video. You know, um, hit the like button. That's there for a reason, so they don't think it's bots. Uh, subscribe, like I said before. If you're on my Patreon, thank you. I hope you guys are loving the information you're getting. Well, you're getting a bunch more, too. The money ain't over yet. <laughs> the ride ain't over. Don't go nowhere. Don't black out on me. <laughs>